Do you know this woman? Look out for her the next time you're shopping. She's seen here at the Asda Superstore in Watford, closely watching this shopper's trolley. We believe she's been responsible for a number of handbag thefts around the Hertfordshire area. The two men with her are West Indian and in their 20s. One of them sometimes wears a baseball cap. Stolen checks and credit cards have been used, totaling many thousands of pounds. The team were spotted again here at a jeweller's in St Albans on the 25th of April, where they used a stolen card. The woman is in her 20s, about 5 foot 6, with frizzy dark hair, which has a gingery red streak through it. She often has her hair tied back in a ponytail and wears large earrings. If you recognise the woman, or can help in any way, please call us now. Alan John Joyner gained the trust of many investors when he set up in a business as a financial consultant. His company, Link Financial Services, started in the early 80s, but last December when customers tried to contact him, it seems he'd disappeared. Inquiries so far have revealed that nearly a quarter of a million pounds of investors' money has gone missing. He may still be driving this white Alpha Sud car, registration number HBC 571V. He was last seen on the 28th of December in Worcester. Alan John Joyner is 45, 5 foot 11 with a broad build. If you have seen him or know where the car is now, please let us know. Do you recognise this woman? We'd like to speak to her in connection with fraudulent transactions totalling nearly £100,000. Since the beginning of last year, stolen cheques have been cashed at high street banks all over London. The woman has been caught on security camera a number of times. The cheques are often in different names, but the handwriting is always the same. She's in her early 20s, about 5 feet tall and has light brown hair with blonde streaks. If you do know who she is, please call. Perhaps you know these men. They may have information about a rape in the Camberwell area of London. Just after midnight, in an alleyway at the Mary Datchler estate, a 15-year-old schoolgirl was raped at knife point. During her ordeal, she was taken to Denmark Hill, where she was later released. We'd like to speak to two men who were in the area at the time. One of them is seen here in a minicab office. He was later joined by another man who is described as being about 20, 5 foot 7 and wearing a jacket with fur around the collar. He had a green bandana around his head. The other man is perhaps a bit more recognisable. He's taller and was wearing a red scarf round his neck. Please ring if you think you can help with this or any of our other photocall cases. Becky Haynes. First, Wiltshire police are keen to trace this man, Edwin Terence Willis. He may have information about a series of deceptions at hotels across the country. He's about six foot and has a number of tattoos, including True Love, written across his knuckles. If you know where he is now, please ring. Just before midday on the 27th of April, this man walked into the Leeds Permanent Building Society in Yeadon High Street, near Leeds, West Yorkshire. Using what's believed to be a semi-automatic weapon, he demanded money from the cashiers. The same man is also believed to have carried out another robbery not far away at the National Provincial Building Society in Guiseley on the 20th of March. On both occasions, he was wearing a brown cap, beige jacket and trousers, and spoke with a soft, possibly assumed Irish accent. Do you recognise him? Thames Valley police are keen to talk to this couple. It's believed they may have information about a series of checkbook frauds. Around Oxfordshire and North London during 1990, hundreds of stolen checks were cashed. Around the middle of 1991, more transactions started up in the Essex area. The man is Victor Shipton. His wife, Carol, may be using the names Carol Burgoyne or Carol Everett. It's thought they may be in the Rochford area of Essex, making frequent visits to Oxford. In June last year, Victor Shipton hired a red Ford Fiesta, registration number D289CDX. We think he may still be driving it, so if you've seen the car or know where the two of them are now, please ring. If you're in a pub right now, take a look around. You might see Edward Crookshank. He's known to like a drink and the Flying Squad are anxious to talk to him. On March the 16th in East London, this Security Express van was hijacked and robbed. Edward Crookshank is 50 and has a South of England accent. If you've seen him or have information on any of our other photo call cases, please call us now. And here's the number, 081811811, First, these two men may have information about a series of credit card thefts and deceptions. Offices in St Albans and Windsor have been the target of thieves since last December. This solicitor's in Park Street, Windsor, was the first stop. 
On the 10th of December, a gold card was taken. Within hours, two men called at nearby Preston's Jewellers where the stolen card is used to buy an expensive Cartier watch. Then, accountants' offices in Victoria Street and Latimer Road, St Albans were the scene of more thefts. Credit cards were taken and later used to purchase thousands of pounds worth of video equipment. The same cards are being used here in Hog Robinson's in Enfield, North London on the 23rd of February. The two men are attempting to buy foreign currency, but staff became suspicious and the men left empty-handed. Do you recognise them? They're both in their mid-twenties to early thirties and five foot ten to six foot tall. This man has a tanned complexion and uses the name David Ellis, and on one occasion he wore glasses. This man has a larger build with light brown to blondish hair. If you can help, please call us tonight. This is Simon Alistair Mason. Officers from Four Forces would like to speak to him about the use of fraudulent bankers' drafts. People advertising their cars for sale in magazines were contacted and persuaded to accept payment by bankers' draft. These turned out to be forged. It's estimated that car sellers across the country have lost over £60,000. We believe Mr Mason may have information on a number of high performance cars, in particular a Lotus 7, registration number XRP 998S, last seen in Nottinghamshire, which he may still be driving. Simon Alistair Mason is 25, 5 foot 10, slim with short black hair and a prominent nose. If you know where he is, please call. Flying squad officers would like to speak to these men in connection with two jewellery robberies which took place earlier this year. Invade Jewellers in Kingsbury Road, North West London, a shop assistant was attacked just before 11am on Thursday the 7th of January. A large amount of expensive jewellery was taken. Then, a couple of hours later, these men were filmed acting suspiciously in a shop in Ealing Road, Wembley. They inquired about gold bracelets, but left without making a purchase. Five minutes later, Devji's Jewellers across the road was targeted. Three men took some very valuable jewellery, but in their haste to escape, they dropped a hold-all bag with this distinctive Robbie logo. The first man's in his late teens to early twenties, between five foot ten and six foot tall. The second man is twenty to twenty-five and about five foot ten tall. The third man is again in his late teens, but smaller, about five foot eight, with short hair. If you can help with any information, please call us. We know who this man is, but not where he is. He's identified as 30-year-old Mark Gaskin. Mr Gaskin had a very busy few days in April. Here he is on the Thursday the 22nd, robbing a building society in Bournemouth. Just four days later, he's at work again, this time in Southampton, but his attempt failed. Not one to be put off, he visited the Bristol and West Building Society in Reading on Friday the 30th of April. But where is he now? If you can help with this or any of our other photocall cases, please call. And the number to ring here is 081 811 8181. The police are significantly nearer tracing the people they're looking for. In two instances, the trail now leads to countries abroad. With this month's collection of faces now, here are Detective Constable Jackie Hames and Superintendent David Hatcher. Edward Mayer had worked at Securicor for six months. On Friday the 22nd of January, he made a routine stop at Lloyd's Bank in Felixstowe. His colleague made the delivery, but when he returned, the van and Mayer had disappeared. Police found the van a few minutes later, a mile away in Micklegate Road. All the contents, a million pounds, had gone. We believe this Toyota Previa may be linked to the robbery. It had been stolen two months earlier from East London and was discovered further along the coast from the Securicor van. And Edward Mayer's car, this Opel Ascona, was discovered on fire five days later in Harlow, Essex. Edward Mayer and his family haven't been seen since. Do you know where they are? Mayer is 37, around 5 foot 9 with a heavy build. He has tattoos on both arms and is a heavy smoker. His common law wife, Deborah Brett, is 27 with a slim build. Their three year old son, Lee, is also missing. If you can help, please ring. There's a very large reward indeed. Do you know where Delroy Davis is now? Merseyside officers believe he may have information about the murder of 32-year-old Michael Rowledge, who was gunned down outside a shopping precinct in Aintree, Liverpool last October. Davis may also be able to help with an investigation into the illegal importation of £75,000 worth of cannabis resin, which was dropped out of a plane at Tilstock Airport in Shropshire on the 4th of August. 
Delroy Davis is 35, 6 foot 2, slim and dresses smartly. If you see him, don't approach him. He could be armed. Just let us know immediately if you know where he is now. And can you help us identify this man who six months ago went into Barclays Bank in Sudbury Hill? We believe he may have information about a number of stolen cheques. The next day he was back again. The cashier remembers he withdrew money. He had a London accent and staff say he was very plausible. If you know him, please call. Mohammed Ramzan lived in Bradford, but locals haven't seen him since last August. Just over two years ago, he set up a business in West Yorkshire offering interest-free loans. People had to deposit a large sum of money for a year to qualify for the scheme. Then, last year, investors became increasingly anxious when they were unable to contact him. £350,000 worth of their money has gone missing. He's 44, around 5 foot 4, with a stocky build. His dark hair is receding, although he sometimes wears a wig. If you know where Mohammed Ramzan is now, or you can help with any of our other photocall cases, please call us. And the number to ring here is always 081 811 Detective Constable Jackie Hames with this month's Gallery of Faces. This is Nicola Taylor. You may recognise her particularly if you run a nursing agency. Between 1989 and 1991, Mrs Taylor was working as an auxiliary nurse for an elderly lady in Sunningdale. During that time, a large amount of money went missing from her employer's account. Eighteen months ago, Nicola Taylor and her husband left their Bracknell home in a silver Vauxhall Cavalier. Registration E615CFC. If you know where she is, please ring us now. Do you recognise these men? On the 21st of October, in the early hours of the morning, two of the men stole a substantial amount of cigarettes, cigars and tobacco from a shop in Clamberis, North Wales. The first man is in his late teens, of medium build, and he was wearing a light-coloured jacket. Just over two months later, the second man returned to the same shop, only this time he was wearing a different hat. He's in his mid-twenties and was unshaven. On this occasion, he also had a different accomplice. He was also in his late teens with short brown hair. His baseball cap has a tartan peak. If you know any of these men, please call. Next, can you find this man, Everett Watson? Reading police would like to speak to him in connection with an attempted murder. Mere Oak Park is a site for mobile homes, just a few miles outside the town centre. On Saturday evening, the 4th of December, a woman was attacked in this home. She was left badly beaten and unconscious. Everett Watson is 52 and 5 foot 6 and sometimes uses the name Ricky Watson. He may be driving a mid-blue Lada Riva similar to this one, registration number G736DAN. If you can help at all, please call us tonight. And do you recognise this man? He's seen here on Friday the 19th of November in the Coventry Building Society in Sheffield Town Centre. He threatened the cashier and escaped with a large amount of cash. Just over a month later, on Thursday the 23rd of December, he went into the Newcastle Building Society, again in Sheffield, and stole cash. But this time he was wearing a different disguise. He's in his early 30s, around 5 foot 9 to 6 foot, and well built. If you can help with this, or any of our other photo call cases, please call. Constable Jackie Hames. Do you recognise this man? Police from three forces would like to speak to him about a series of robberies at banks and building societies. Since April of last year, 17 attacks have taken place in Nottinghamshire, Leicestershire and Derbyshire. Here he is at the Woolwich Building Society in Loughborough on the 2nd of July. On the 10th of August, he went to the Midland Bank at Shepshed, Leicestershire, where, saying he had a gun, he demanded money. These last photographs were taken at Barclays Bank in Stapleford on February the 10th. He's in his late 30s or early 40s, about 5 foot 9, and favours wearing an olive green cagoule. If you know who he is or where he is now, please call. If you're a car dealer in the Midlands, you might have come across Peter Reynolds. We'd like to speak to him in connection with a series of car deceptions. Throughout 1991, he operated a company called Alpha Cars in Marjorie Street, Leicester. In April of that year, several expensive vehicles were obtained fraudulently and then subsequently sold on for cash. These three cars are still outstanding and may now be in the hands of innocent buyers. A beige Mitsubishi Shogun, registration H343AMT, a grey Toyota Supra Turbo, H48GJU, and a black Lincoln Continental, SXI4567. 
Mr. Reynolds is 44 and 5 foot 10. He has several tattoos, including a crucifix on his left thumb and love on his right hand fingers. He may be using the alias Edward Barr Macmillan. If you've seen him or know where the cars are, please call us tonight. If you recognise this man, you could help solve a robbery at a jeweller's in Leicester City Centre two months ago. Just after 4pm on the 7th of January, he and three accomplices asked to see some jewellery which was on display. As the assistant opened the cabinet, the robbers grabbed a tray of rings and bracelets. The man's described about 24, 5 foot 7, medium to stocky build with a local accent. His accomplices are in their 20s, slightly taller and wearing dark jackets. If you can help, call us now. Do you know who this man is? We believe he may have information about an employment agency which offered construction work abroad. Calling itself Orion Associates and operating from an address in Wembley, Middlesex, the company advertised jobs in the national press. Since July, several hundred people have replied to the ads and sent in a £15 registration fee. They've heard nothing since. On July the 15th, this man was caught on the security camera at the Halifax Building Society in Edgware, North London. He obtained cash from an account believed to be holding the proceeds of the job advertisements. He's in his 30s, about six foot and well built with mid-brown hair. If you do know who he is, or can help with any of our other photo call faces, please ring us tonight. And the are here to take us through this month's faces. If you live in South East London, you might have come across this man. Over the past five months, he's committed a series of robberies at petrol stations, and on some occasions, he's seriously assaulted the cashier. We'd like to speak to him in connection with about 20 similar offences. He's in his 20s and around 5 foot 8. If you know where he is, please call. This is Brian Bernard O'Neill, and officers in Leeds believe he may have information about a series of car frauds. Yorkshire Motor Services started business about a year ago in New York Road, Leeds. They advertised in newspapers and magazines offering to buy cars. The firm then agreed to take on and settle any outstanding hire purchase payments, but the company is now the subject of an inquiry. Brian O'Neill is 25, 5 foot 10 and slim with short fair hair and tattoos on both hands and left forearm. If you know where he could be, call us now. Sussex Police would like to speak to this man in connection with a series of credit card thefts. Here he is at Lloyds Bank Littlehampton trying to obtain money with a stolen credit card. On this occasion staff became suspicious and he was unsuccessful. There have been other incidents along the Sussex coast where credit cards, cash and other valuables were stolen from sports centre lockers. The man attempting to use the stolen cards is between 30 and 35 with receding hair. He wears gold rimmed glasses and is smartly dressed. If you recognise him, please call us. If your company uses haulage contractors, you may have come across this man, Peter Ian Smith. We'd like to speak to him in connection with a series of thefts and deceptions. Over the past few months, a number of container lorries have failed to arrive at their pre-arranged destinations, and the contents were then sold on for cash. Peter Smith is 42, 6 foot, and has short, light brown hair. Although originally from Lancashire, he sometimes adopts a Birmingham accent. He's known to stay at guest houses and hotels across the country and may be using the aliases Peter Moffat and Peter Keating. If you know where he is or can help with any of our other photocall faces, please call us now. With this month's photocall faces. This is Keith Roger Henry. Greater Manchester Police would like to speak to him in connection with a fatal road accident. On the 19th of May last year, a man was crossing Platt Lane in the Fallowfield area of Manchester when he was hit by a passing car. Brian Byrne, a 35-year-old single parent, died within minutes of the accident. Keith Roger Henry, who prefers to be called Roger, is 21, 5 foot 7 and of medium build. He's known to have lived in London, but may now be living in the Manchester area. If you know where he is, please call. And do you know where this man is? He's Thomas Pedden, and colleagues in Yorkshire would like to talk to him in connection with a deception that happened earlier this year. In January, a 47-year-old woman from West Yorkshire handed over her life savings to a man she had met at a tea dance in Leeds. She has not seen the man or the money since. Thomas Pedden is 66 years old, 5 foot 8, and speaks with a Scottish accent. He's known to use several different aliases and travels widely throughout Britain. If you know where he is, call us tonight. And if you recognise this man, you may be able to help solve a series of frauds in Essex. 
On March the 1st, the man attempted to withdraw money from the Alliance and Leicester Building Society in Colchester when the cashier became suspicious and he left empty-handed. Later that day, money was obtained fraudulently from three other building societies in the same town. The man is in his early 30s, between 5 foot 8 to 5 foot 10, with short brown swept back hair. If you know where he is now, please call. Our colleagues in Hertfordshire are anxious to talk to this couple, John and Robin McAllister. We believe they may be able to help with inquiries into a series of mortgage frauds in the South East. Since 1989, thefts of large sums of money have taken place in Hertfordshire. Mr and Mrs McAllister were last seen in Chorley Wood in Hertfordshire in March 1992 when they said they were moving to Wiltshire. If you know where they are now or can help with any of our photocall cases, please call. In fact, it's the 97th of Photocall, our Superintendent David Hatcher and Detective Constable Jackie Hames with this month's Photocall Faces. Does this man look familiar? He's Robert Hawkes and officers in Northumbria would like to speak to him in connection with a series of deceptions. Since September last year, a number of people have lost thousands of pounds when purchasing and selling classic and high-performance cars. They've been lured to several locations on the continent by a man using different names. Robert Hawkes is 45, 6 foot 1 and often wears gold rimmed glasses. He sometimes uses the name David Sully. If you know where he is, ring us tonight. If you know this man, our colleagues in Lancashire would like to hear from you. Here he is just before noon on February the 26th at a National and Provincial Building Society in Blackburn. Armed with a revolver, he demanded money from the cashier, placed it in a white carrier bag and made his escape. He's around 40, 5 foot 9, with dark hair, and was wearing a blue padded jacket with a white flash on the sleeve. If you know who he is, call us now. Do you recognise this couple? Our colleagues in Manchester would like to speak to them in connection with a serious attack. In the early hours of Sunday the 30th of January, this woman went to a petrol station in Farnworth Bolton. She left the garage with a male passenger in a green Vauxhall Cavalier, registration UND 804X. A short time later, two men were attacked in a nearby street. They both received serious facial wounds which needed several hours' surgery. The passenger in the Green Cavalier is in his early 30s, six foot with dark cropped receding hair. The woman is about 25, five foot four with fair shoulder length hair. If you recognise either of them, please call. If you work in the textile industry, you may have come across this man. He's Galzar Ahmed, and colleagues in the northwest of England would like to speak to him in connection with a series of deceptions. During the past four years, colleagues in Greater Manchester, West Yorkshire and Cumbria have been investigating five companies who traded in fabrics obtained fraudulently. As a result, all five companies have been closed down. Galza Ahmed is 33 years old, 5 foot 3, of slim build, with dark hair and a moustache. He recently used the alias Shah Mumtaz. If you know where he is or can help with any of our photocall faces, please call us now. David Hatcher with four new faces. First, we need your help to trace David Milner Zak. Derby police are keen to speak to him about a rape last July. Maybe you know where he is now. He's 27, 5 foot 11, slim with tattoos on his left arm and a missing front tooth. He has dark brown hair which he ties back in a ponytail. He may visit Birmingham, Manchester or Kings Lynn in Norfolk. If you've any information, don't approach him, but call us tonight. Do you know where Neil Christopher Brown is? He may have information about a shooting that took place in Roughwood Drive in Kirby, Merseyside on March the 13th. A 23-year-old man was shot in the chest and seriously injured. Neil Brown is 23, 5 foot 9, medium build with short brown hair. He may have left Merseyside and could now be in East London. Call us if you can help. Perhaps you recognise this man. Scottish police are anxious to speak to him. Here he is at the Royal Bank of Scotland, Dunblane, at 2.30pm on Tuesday the 21st of March, using a stolen credit card. He's in his late 20s, around 5 foot 10, with a heavy build. If you know who he is, please ring us now. Colleagues in Manchester want to speak to Sean Jerome Norton. He used to rent the Fair Deal garage in Old Trafford. £70,000 worth of cannabis was discovered at the garage in April. Sean Norton is 45, around 5 foot 8, and may now be wearing glasses. If you know where he is, or the whereabouts of any of our photocall faces, call us tonight. 
Do you know where Clive Anthony Brown is? He may be able to help inquiries into a series of sexual assaults against a young girl. Clive Brown is 37, 5 foot 7 and has distinctive tattoos on both arms. He could be working as a cab driver and it's possible he was in the central Nottingham area two months ago. If you know where he is now, please call. Next, Cheshire Police would like to speak to this man. Several credit cards have been stolen from offices in the Wilmslow and Warrington areas since January. Here's the man at Lloyd's Bank in Wilmslow obtaining cash with one of the cards. Here he is again at the National Westminster Bank in Bakewell on the 20th of April. He's in his mid-twenties, around 5 foot 8, slim with a tanned complexion. If you know who he is, please call us now. Merseyside Regional Crime Squad would like to speak to Stephen Edward Burrow. Between 1991 and 1993, five building firms in Liverpool made false insurance claims totalling over £100,000. Stephen Burrow is in his 30s, 5 foot 8, has a neat appearance and wears John Lennon style gold rimmed circular glasses. You may know him by another name, so if you can help, please call. And finally, Gloucestershire Police are anxious to speak to this woman. Here she is on the 9th of March at the Sherdington Post Office on the outskirts of Cheltenham. A stolen DSS income support benefit book was used in an attempt to obtain money. Take another look at her. She's in her mid-twenties with long dark hair and was wearing a black jacket. If you know who or where she is, or if you can help with any of our other photo call faces, please call us.